Hello there, everybody! This is Azamanga Dalfan speaking, and I'm back with yet another commentary, and boy, are you guys in for a treat. Well, allow me to explain. The person I've chosen to commentate on today is a bit of a surprise, because I'm commentating on a person whose content I actually enjoy. The person I'm talking about is none other than Cyberwolf087, aka T4TV. Now, as much as I enjoy the content he makes, and I don't necessarily have anything against him, he made a commentary on Sammy Classic Sonic Fan, who is not only a little kid, but he's also a pretty obvious troll. Now, in this video, T4 states that the video he's commentating on is relevant. However, that still doesn't exempt him from being called out on his bullshit, especially considering that he's a more seasoned commentator than me. So with that said, he should already know how to spot an obvious troll from a mile away by now. Anyway, I think I've dragged this intro on long enough, so I'll just go ahead and start the video. <laughs> here with another commentary. Yay! You know, I received a mixed reception from my last commentary on the channel Navigator. The main reason why was due to the fact that the channel has been irrelevant since 2008, despite that I stated that in the same video. But at the same time, I figured that I would make it up by commentating on a video that is relevant. And seeing as how the rest of the intro is just repeating what I've said in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and skip over it. Okay, I'm gonna freaking tell you guys freaking something! Oh great, another friendly reminder why I don't have voice chat turned on from online multiplayer. You know, just something I wanna get out of my freaking chest, okay? And as you can see, I've got freaking Super Mario, freaking Sunshine, and I got all the shines in the game in about two weeks, and what do I get? A stupid ending! God, why did my grape juice start starting? T4, um, help me out here. Was that supposed to be a really good impression of an old lady, or a really bad impression of Steve Urkel? And then I got all freaking Mario characters here. Wonder why you freaking freak? Because you people cannot stop criticizing the Wii U. Stop criticizing the Wii U! Okay, from this point on, I'm gonna try to be nice to this kid as best as I possibly can, and debunk why his opinion is invalid. Wait a minute, did, did I hear that right? You're trying to prove why a person's opinion is quote-unquote wrong, even though the definition of an opinion is a person's thoughts on a particular topic. I mean, I can understand disagreeing with somebody's opinion, but trying to debunk it and treat it as if it were a fact is not really going to get you far in terms of making a point. I have the Wii U! I have it downstairs! It, it's one of my... It's, it's one of my favorite systems of all time. You wanna know why, you fricks? Cause it's freaking revolutionary with the freaking gamepad. I'm gonna say that the gamepad being revolutionary is utter bullcrap, and you wanna know why? Because the DS already did that. Nine years ago, mind you. And no, the GameCom doesn't count. Are you sure it doesn't say game.com? They utilized the touchscreen. It was poorly designed, and it didn't really have any good games on it. It's got good games on it, like Super Mario! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but how can you not love this kid? He's so adorable, especially the way he captures Mario De Plummer's pronunciation of Mario so freaking perfectly. <laughs> which is my- which is my, my favorite gaming franchise of all time! And, you know what? I don't want to hear it! STOP CRITICIZING THE WAY YOU! Alright, just calm the fuck down. Hey, seriously, what the frick gifts? Okay, the Wii U already has, you know, good games on it, like, you know, the freaking new Super Mario Bros. U, even though it's not the most original Mario game, the most groundbreaking Mario game, it's still an amazing game nonetheless! 
proclaims that the latest Mario game is amazing, fails to analyze the reasons why. Makes perfect sense to me. And remember to buy Frosted Flakes because they're more than good. They're great! So I don't want to hear you, fricks! And also, there's, you know, the freaking, you know, the freaking, um, Nintendo Land, the freaking Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. Which is multi-platformed, meaning that the game is also available in other game consoles. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, another good game for Wii U. And then we have, you know, freaking Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, a good game. You know, with amazing graphics, more levels, basically, you know, a better version of the original 3DS freaking game. And then we have, you know, the freaking, you know, the freaking Rayman Legends Challenges app, the Bit Trip Runner 2. Holy frick, that's a good endless running game. And you know what? I don't want to hear it. Stop criticizing the Wii U. And even though those games. That sounds like a, re a weak lineup of essential games. They're all good games, so I don't want to hear it, you fricks. And guess what? The Wii U has some amazing games coming out for it in this year and next year. So the Wii U is getting games. So what? Just because the Wii U has more games coming out soon doesn't mean that the console shouldn't be open to criticism anyway. People are allowed to speak about various topics. Case in point, the Wii U and its library. You sure about that? Name a few. All right, I'll name a few. Let's start it off, shall we? Okay, Super Mario U. You know, the next Mario game, the next 3D Mario game for Wii U. Um, Mario Kart U. Freaking, you know, freaking. Super Smash Bros. U, Yarn Yoshi, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, and then, um, the new upcoming 3D Zelda for Wii U, um, you know, the freaking, you know, the freaking Pikmin 3, Gaming Wario, Sound of the Lost World, Radiant Legends, um, Mario Sonic the Soshi, Olympics, New Super Luigi U, and, um, the unannounced, um, Sonic title. That's 13 games to look forward to this year and next year. So I don't wanna hear it, you fricks! Okay, you fricks, I don't wanna freaking hear it! Would you kindly shut your noise hole? It just makes me so freaking irritated! And guess what? All you Microsoft and Sony fanboy, well guess what? PS4 and Xbox One look like the same exact thing as um, PS3 and Xbox 360, except with better graphics and better functionality, better social features, and all that freaking frick. I don't want to hear it! Ah, but, 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 listen, young grasshopper. The PlayStation 4 is gonna have a better Blu ray drive, which means you won't have to deal with slow installation updates which was something that the Wii PS3 had. As for the Xbox One, I really can't say much from the reveal other than my mixed reception on the console. It has some interesting functionalities, but there's some flaws that hold it back as well. I'll wait for E3 and see if they both hold up in some way. Wii U has all games! It's more revolutionary because of the gamepad and that PS4 rips off of Wii U, that's right you idiots, because it has the touchpad, it doesn't have a screen on it. Well guess what, how is that more revolutionary than the Wii U? Wait, wait, the PlayStation 4 ripping off the Wii U? <laughs> Isn't that cute? But it's wrong! Well, here's a fun fact. This media clip is so overused that I forgot the name of the cartoon this particular clip came from. The PlayStation 4 controller has a touchpad, granted, but the reality is that the PlayStation 4 doesn't have a gamepad, while the Wii U has a gamepad as one of the main controllers. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. What the fuck is this? 
I mean, have we really gotten to the point where we've become too lazy to look at our TV screens, so there has to be a screen built into the controller itself? I mean, unless the Wii U is supposed to be two consoles in one, I just don't see the point of it, and I find it to be really stupid. Bowers. So, really, it's not a ripoff of anything, which I could commend both Sony and Microsoft for. And guess what? Even though the Wii U isn't, you know, quite up to the standards as, um, you know, the past Nintendo systems, they freaking what? It's going to get there! People were saying the same freaking freak about the 3S and look at it now! 3S is currently one of the best systems of all time, and at first people were saying that the 3S was a failure. Well, guess what? Look at the 3DS now! Look how good it's doing! Okay, I got the 3DS right here! No thanks, you don't have to show me your 3DS. What, was he gonna do some sexually explicit things to it? But the fact of the matter is that the 3DS launch was executed badly due to the lack of games and its price tag. In fact, it was so bad that Nintendo had to cut its price tag 33% off. May not seem like a lot to you, but it did hurt Nintendo at the time, so Nintendo made it up by giving away 20 free games, which was 10 NES games and 10 Game Boy Advance games to early owners of the unit before the price drop. Also, it wasn't just the games that Wii U faced criticisms from, it was also the slow operating system, the lack of first party titles I could go on. Heck, I'm willing to consider that your ranting on those criticisms has probably been irrelevant since last year. And guess what? The Wii U is going to get there. I don't care what people are saying now. It's eventually going to hit those standards. Just you wait! Now hold on. <laughs> oh, T4. You really love being original, don't you? time producing this rant video. All you're doing is repeating yourself and counterpointing evidences to criticisms that holds no relevance now. It's like criticizing Germany just because the majority of them back in Hitler's rule were Nazis. That's irrelevant now because the country is a parliamentary democracy, meaning it's not under autocratic rule. Yeah, except for the fact that in the pamphlet Hein Sieg by Willy Bradis Haas, it shows that 10 to 30% of Germans have extremist right-wing political views. In fact, there are two political parties in Germany right now, the NPD and the DBU, that have representatives and several German state parliaments that are widely recognized as Nazis. And besides, how did we go from a kid ranting about a video game console to World War II, or in this case, Nazi Germany? And damn right they're relevant, because their beers are freaking awesome! <laughs> Well folks, it's that time again to give my final thoughts. Okay, to start off, he emphasizes in this video that everyone has the right to express their opinion. Yet, when this kid expressed his opinion, there were times in this video where T4 treated it as if it were a fact. Not only that, he made a vlog explaining why he removed this video, and at the end of the vlog, he also talked about taking requests for commentaries, and he said that he won't commentate on troll videos, which I find really hilarious because he commentated <laughs> on a blatantly obvious troll the entire time. And seeing as how he's a more experienced commentator, he should have been more aware of that, or at least could have paid better attention to the video. And speaking of that vlog T4 made, I felt like he overlooked so many other issues with this commentary that should have been brought up. Look, I like the content T4 makes, and I don't necessarily have anything against the guy. But just because I enjoy someone's content, and I'm subscribed to them, doesn't mean I won't call them out whenever they make a mistake. Anyway, this has been As Among Dal fans signing out.